everyone, welcome to littlecraftingyourday.com. I'm here with my favorite mamaw, actually my only mamaw, but um, we're going to be making, what are we making today, mamaw? Peanut butter roll. So, mamaw has been making this for years, but I've never actually watched you make it, or actually been with you, and when you're making it, and mamaw, like everyone, all, our whole family brings her stuff to make them peanut butter and Christmas candy, so I decided to come over here today while she was making it, and we were going to learn how she made it and we'll have the recipe and all the information over at a littlecraftingyourday.com so let's get started mamma so what do we need to have do this project okay you need uh wax paper piece of wax paper uh-huh turn it on okay and lay it down there cool and you need to sprinkle powdered sugar, sugar. On your so why do you need to sprinkle powdered sugar okay, on here? Well, you gotta roll it out. Okay. You gotta roll it out. Okay. Now that's a lot of powdered sugar. Well, you gotta take your hands uh -huh. and spread it out when you get red when okay. you get this. Okay. You take what I do. I take a little powdered sugar, about a cup, two cups, first. So I noticed and that you didn't take, take a, a measuring a measuring cup. So no. No. And no. we've grabbed, now what is this butter? I've, I've noticed okay. you've melted it some. Okay, it has to be a little bit soft to, to work it up. Okay. And I take a stick of butter and I put it in this mm -hmm. and, and I take my hands, my hands are clean, my hands. Uh -huh. And I work it up like you do biscuit dough. Okay, or is this like you're kneading it? Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And you just keep mixing uh -huh. it. You keep mixing it till it comes like your dough. Uh -huh. You know, on your uh, when you're making biscuits. And when it gets uh, all mixed up, while well, you take it and roll it out on your rub. Uh, so we go add another stick of butter to this? Or, no. Or, so no. it only needs one I, stick? I just have one stick. Wow. I use one stick at each batch, I guess you call it. So how long do you need to knead it? Till it all comes to form a ball. Oh, wow. So how long does it normally take you? Oh, about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay, so we'll come back after this is all kneaded and ready to go. Okay, Mama, so you want to show them your, your ball? You want to lift it up? I want to show okay. it to them? Yeah. So, so it's now a ball, and now it's like dough, right? Right. Right. So would you want to share a quick tip with them? Yes. Do not make this if it is raining. Why? Because it won't uh, it won't stick together. Is there too much moisture in the no, air? No, they are. Okay. They are. So after you've made your ball and you've kneaded it all together, what do we need to do now? Well, you need to lay it down on a paper or uh, wax paper and take a glass uh -huh. and rub powdered sugar on it. Okay, so you're going to rub your glass in powdered sugar. Yes. So it won't oh, stick okay. and I'm going to sprinkle some on it. Oh, on the, okay. So it won't uh, right. stick to my glass and I'm going to take this glass and I'm going to just roll it out. Okay. Here. Could you also use a, a, a rolling pin? You can. Okay. Is there? Do you like to? Do you find that it's easier to use the glass? I, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I use the glass, but you can. You can use the rolling pin. Do you have any other tips about using uh, making this peanut butter roll? Is there any uh, tips that you've learned through the years? Well, I just learned to not make it when it was raining, uh -huh. and make it, you know, where it'll, uh, you know, won't be so. Uh, uh, sticky. Okay. Get open. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> so we'll take a peanut butter. Uh huh. Hand me the knife over here. Tom. Okay. Where's your knife? Okay. And Which one? one? Either one. Okay. I'd rather have the big right. Cool. Okay. You take your peanut butter. And you spread it real thin, or ever, ever how you want to put it on there. You can. So if you're a big peanut butter fan, you might want to use a little use bit more. Use more, right? 
front, front. And you just spread it all over there like this. And I put mine in the refrigerator. Now when I get it rolled up, I put it in the refrigerator for uh -huh. and let it set a little and then it'll cut better. So now you say you put it in the refrigerator? Mm hmm I put it in the refrigerator. I cut it in two mm -hmm. and let it sort of cool off. And then, I mean, it's not hot. It's just so it'll get a little bit cool. And I put it on a paper plate. That's all you do. Awesome. So we'll come back and see the finished product when it's all cooled down and after about 15 to 20 minutes in the refrigerator. So I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. We've been letting this sit for about 30 minutes, a little bit longer than that, and we're going to now cut it and show you all what it was supposed to look like. Mama, you want to do the honors? I uh, sure will. Cool. Just take and cut it as big a piece as mm -hmm. you want it. And that looks so good. So it looks like this. And what I love about Mamaw's is it stays so together so nice and it never deforms. I know some people's um, makes it and it just crumbles. But uh, another tip Mamaw wanted to tell was about the sugar. What kind of sugar do they need to use? I use Domino's. So Domino's sugar. Don't use the generic. Use Domino's. And then you can just put it in a tin with some parchment paper and you're ready to go. So thank you Mamaw for coming thank on the you. show today and letting us come into your home and film. Um, don't forget to check out alittlecraftingyourday.com for more craft inspiration and DIY projects. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Say bye. Bye.